Hi everyone, hope you've had a nice Sunday. As you can see, I finally got the undercoat on. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this video short, just to give you a quick update of where we've got to with the tank. Um, I probably won't be doing a weekly update on this because I'm gonna wait for two weeks for this um, Chaos Black and Warhammer undercoat to really dry. Um, I can't recommend this stuff high enough. It's really leveling. Um, if you accidentally put a bit too much on, I don't mean tons of it, but if it's a little bit, it will level out and it won't cause issues. Um, it goes on really strong, as you can see. Um, don't worry, I'm not going goth. There's nothing wrong with goths. Nice people. But um, yeah, so it sticks like anything to the model and it really unifies it. Um, the reason why I paint them black is because if you get a chip of the um, up top coat, it looks right. And the good thing is once it's all unified, you start seeing actually all the work that you've done and you start going oh that's wrong or oh, I've got a blemish there or oh, I've got a blue run and that's what I'm in the process of doing now it's like around here any sanding marks that should be taken off um, any damage to the plastic that you didn't see because it's all uniform yellow and you know so that's pretty it um, it's like on the crows where I chop the um, ammunition storage box down and we can just see a line going through it so I've got to do that um, with the crows I've made it magnet attached. The reason being is I want to put a V3 crows on it as well um, because I think it looks cool. And it gives you the option, doesn't it? And also I've seen a few of these without the extra cheek armor with the V3. Um, so yeah, so that one. So this one's magnetized. And I use the same stuff that you use for mosquito net lines. Um, it's I've used the 3M sticky stuff on the back, so you should be able to get it off easy enough. Uh, and there's just the other bit under there and then it goes on and I've you know had it on and wobbled the tank about a bit and held the tire upside down it's not fallen off I've had it upside down over a pillow no, I'm not that mad um, so yeah so this is everything and it really does make the detail start to pop once you get a unified color on it so I think don't if you get the t-rex stuff just make your own out of brass these little hitches um, I was a bit unsure of them at the time and I was right, they just fall off really easy. Once this is all painted up, I'll, I will glue this on and they will eventually become part of this tow rope, so they shouldn't come off. But I've also started making my own ones out of brass. It's not a big deal, it's really pretty easy. Um, this I've just got so I don't lose it. That's the back, and um, if you can see the nice uh, texture on the anti sled, which I quite, I think went okay. I think it looks okay. Um, if we go around, so there's another bit of correction that I'm doing. Um, to correct it, I will use um, ammo one shot primer. I wouldn't use this on a 1.6 tank, all of it, 1.16 tank, because it will take you forever. And the trouble is when you have to do a little bit and a little bit and a little bit, it's human nature that you will get too close and you're not getting a run. Whereas with this, if you hold it about 30 centimeters away and you've masked everything up properly and you give it a go, it's fabulous. It coats really well. Yeah, you know, do a dust coat first, and it's probably about another two coats over the top, but it's quite quick. But it, you know, you use, it's quite a lot of paint you use on one of these. Um, here's the rear with it completely undercoated. I added the drain cocks, because I thought that's quite a prominent little bit. There's one over here, but you probably can't see it, it's just under there. Um, I've got to do these. Um, I, I want to try if I, if I can get some proper ones of these in metal. Uh, so I'm not sure how long they'll last for. I missed a bit. Um, I had to change my rear wheels, which is a real pain, the rear sprockets, because all the set V2s, they don't have the old style um, that I managed to drill the holes in. So I can't use these now, which is really annoying, but it's one of those things. If I ever do it again, I do an earlier Abraham, so I've got a set. Anybody want them? Um, but if, you know, if people have done my... Um, tutorial on how to do that then it should it's not too hard you can do it yourself yeah so i'm quite pleased with it i won't stay too long because it's your sunday and you don't need to hear me babbling on um it's quite good actually doing this with the camera because you can see what you've missed straight away so anyway. oh i did this um the uh telling you it's got uranium in the armor by um using Bahio Bahio uh plastic putty it's really thin stuff i think it's mainly for figures um, and then I put it in a syringe and I literally iced it on. My mum would have been proud of me. Because um, it doesn't have to be stupid neat. Because it wasn't, it was just 
um, welding bar, uh, welding rod that they put it on with. Um, yeah, so that's everything. I've still got to tidy that little bit up because there's a gap there, but I'll do that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So look, thanks for sticking with me with this. Um, I will, like I said, I probably won't update you on this for a few weeks now. And when you see it again, it will be completely painted in three tone. I won't weather it yet, but I will paint it. Um, and then I will do a vice over in what I've done to paint it. And I'll try and keep it as short as possible. So yeah, so that's it. Have a lovely Sunday. I will see you in a few weeks. If I can come up with something else, my other tanks, I might do something with the Chieftain. Uh, photo it in the wild, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that. Look, have a lovely rest of your Sunday. And I will see you at some point in the next few weeks. And hopefully this will then be painted in three tone. NATO camouflage. And then we can get on to weathering it. And I'll, once I've done that, I'll stick with electrics in. Look, have a lovely evening. And thanks for watching. And, you know, if you've subscribed, that's amazing. Uh, you know, honestly, honestly. Uh, look, have a lovely evening. Bye.